authoring your manual test scripts in RQM can be a time intensive process. In order to improve your efficiency, there are two assets linked to your test script creation. First one, keyword. It's a little subroutine or test script snippet that you can reuse over and over in many test scripts for standard operations that you must do. And the other one, test data, allows you to provide input to your test scripts from a spreadsheet and then have the test script iterate over that data multiple times to do similar tests with differing data in a very automated way. Let's go take a quick look at how keywords and test data is attached to your test scripts. What I'm showing you right now is a piece of test data that I've already imported into RQM. The name of this test data, credit card numbers, the file I imported from was a CSV which I generated from a spreadsheet, and the data that I imported is shown here. Two rows of data, each displaying a card number, a card type, and a card holder name. So I've already imported this in. I've set up some keywords as well. You can see I've got four keywords defined. Each of these keywords can be as few or as many steps as necessary. So very simple keywords or very complex keywords. And over here I'm looking, I can see what scripts those keywords have already been used in. Display pin, in fact, has been defined but not yet used. So let's look at a test script taking advantage of these keywords and this test data. Here I have a simple test script, test card input. Step one, enter the card data. Step two, check the balance. Now, let's look at step two first. That is a keyword. And if I expand it, I can see it's a keyword that consists of a single step telling the user to check, click the check balance button and verify that the balance is displayed. A very simple keyword consisting of only one step. Well, what if in this script, instead of checking balance, I'd rather have them display the PIN from the user account? Well, easy enough. Let's delete this and go bring up my keywords. We want to display pin instead of check balance. I grab display pin. I drop it down here. My script now consists of my step one, dealing with card input data, and step two, displaying a pin, which again was a keyword that if I expand out was a single step keyword. Let's take a look at using test data. I've already started. In step one, I want the user to enter account number, card type, an account name before clicking OK. And I think I'm going to make click OK bold so that that stands out a little bit more. All right, card type. This is dealing with test data. And I've already set up for card number and name, but not for card type. This is very simple. Up at the top of my test script here, I've said I've got test data associated with this script and it is credit card numbers. So let's say insert test data. Notice the three pieces of information, the three columns that was in that test data was card number, card type, and card holder name. I'm saying right here in my script I would like to insert card type. I'll do that. Now my script is going to display for the tester out of that spreadsheet the appropriate card number, card type, and card holder name that they should be using as they're testing. I'm going to save this script. Uh, to, to show you how this works for the tester, we're actually going to back up to the test case that uses this script, and we're going to run this. This is a preview of what we'll see when we get to the execution part of this tool, where we start looking at running what we've built up. So I'm going to do a quick run of this particular script. And here's what the tester sees. The test data 
is going to be iterated over twice because there were two rows. The first time they do their test, you can see that the step is actually displaying out of that test data from the spreadsheet the number, the type, and the name that they are supposed to input. And of course, they will then say whether or not this particular step passed or failed. And then they'll do the display pin. And the test will iterate to number two and display for them the account number, card type, and account name from the second user.